We begin with breaking news. State police say DNA helped identify the I-65 killer who they believe is responsible for as many as three murders and several other assaults from the 1980s and 1990s. State police, along with several other agencies, held a news conference this morning to announce this news. Our Jenny Runovich joins us live now with the very latest. Hey, Jenny, what do you know? Yeah, Karen, I can tell you police have been working this case for three decades, so dogged police work certainly was a factor in solving these cases, but science truly solved the case. Police tell us that DNA evidence linked Harry Edward Greenwell to those murders, and they identified him as the I-65 killer. Now, Greenwell died in January of 2013 in Iowa. He'd been in and out of the prison system several times. Police say he even escaped twice. But now, for victims' families, the killer of their loved ones has been brought out of the dark and into the light. Police displayed pictures of the three victims at the news conference today. For more than 30 years, investigators have been working to find the man responsible. During those decades, police had a sketch of a man they believed was terrorizing women, described from one woman in Columbus who was attacked and survived. Now, one of the cases linked to Greenwell was back in February of 1987. Vicki Heath was her name. She was sexually assaulted and murdered at the Super 8 Motel off I-65 in Hardin County, Kentucky. Well, Elizabethtown, Kentucky police matched the DNA in Heath's case to at least four other cases, including that 1990 case in Columbus, Indiana, where a woman was sexually assaulted, stabbed, but survived. Indiana State Police Superintendent Doug Carter today had a message for families of the victims, many of whom were in the room during that news conference. I'm not going to say his name. I think we need to focus on the victims today. It's amazing what happens over the course of generations. There's detectives in this very room that have been involved in this in some form or another, literally for generations. And they're owed a debt of gratitude that we can never possibly repay. But you know, their effort was for you. So certainly some hopeful closure for the victims' families who have been dealing with this unsolved case of their loved ones for more than three decades right now. Uh, investigative genealogy, that's the DNA evidence that linked uh, Harry Greenwell to this case. So again, science really, really solved it. Um, police also say it took a number of police agencies working together to solve this. They have never given up, they say. And because of that DNA evidence, they're actually thinking there may be other victims out there, other unsolved crimes that may be linked to Greenwell. So now they're looking into those as well. Tonight, beginning at 5, we will have much more on the solving of this case, more about the suspect. Also, we'll hear from one of the victim's family members as well who spoke at the news conference today. You can also learn more about the case on our WTHR app and again on WTHR.com. Karen, big day uh, for these families today. Yeah, definitely. Thank you, Jenny, for that report. And